Hey Android fans, this is Eric from HollywoodPhoto.com and this is not really an Android app review so much, I guess it kind of is, but basically you've maybe heard of the launcher app, Lightning Launcher. Um, I had heard of it, I had bought it, I had it on my phone for a long time, but I didn't put it to use because I knew there was a learning curve with it. Um, and I'm not, this is not going to be a tutorial. Um, to show you how to use it exactly, uh, nor is it going to be a review of all the features. Um, I just want to show you my screen, show you my setup, so you can see what can be accomplished. Uh, this is my home screen uh, using a lightning launcher. Uh, few things that are significant to it. Uh, these icons, you might see them, they're bigger than a normal icon. You can resize icons using lightning launcher. Um, this uh, bar at the top, you can see it's, it's clear. You see through the bar and see the background. That's due to Lightning Launcher. This dock at the bottom, a lot of launchers come with docks. Lightning Launcher does not come with a dock. I built this uh, using a Lightning Launcher. Uh, what's cool about it is uh, if you see there's two levels to it there. Oops, that's another Lightning Launcher feature that you can go to. And you can slide sideways too. Now, I don't have anything on the sideways because... I just never got around to doing that, but it is, I can't have another row if I want to, or I could have five other rows, whatever you want to do. Lightning Launcher is completely customizable. It basically allows you to create your own launcher in a way. I have, besides hitting these icons, opening up, for example, if I hit that, it open up the Play Store, but if I swipe up from that, then it opens up the Amazon Play Store. Uh, any icon that you put on your home screen or anywhere, you can assign gestures up, down, left, right, all kinds of stuff. Now if I uh, take the screen and go up, there's, a, there's you see my dock didn't move, the G didn't move, my widget didn't move, but there's another screen down there. Now there are no other screens left and right. Uh, I didn't need to do that with this. With Lightning Launcher, I just slide that way and there's this panel. Now I have this thing I like. I love brushed metal. So the, you can see the dock is one color brushed metal. This side is a copper brushed metal. If I get rid of that, if I swipe this way, here's another copper brush metal with widgets on it. That's all lightning launcher. And uh, uh, see, that's, that's already, that's just cool, don't you think? Now if I tap that G, that brings down my notification, uh, which is good if you're holding it in, you know, in one hand. You can just tap that G and, and it'll uh, drop down. If I swipe up from the G, that takes me into my app drawer. Again, this is all through a lightning launcher. Now let me swipe back over here. You see I have a list of words. These take me to different folders. So if I want to get our office stuff, I click office. And there's brushed aluminum or blush, brushed silver metal comes up with my office stuff. And I can get rid of that. And let's see, I can go uh, photo. And there's my photo folder that I set up. But if I swipe up, there's other fo photo apps in there too. This is all lightning launcher stuff. Um, which is kind of cool. If I swipe over here again, you'll see my widget panel with my uh, uh, calendar and you know I can click that, it'll open my calendar. This is weather bug, so it's got the forecast and I can click that, it'll open uh, the weather bug app. So, uh, you know, it's just very simple and clean and sleek and instead of having five different screens. I just have really one screen and this little extra secret screen down there, um, which I'm not making much use of yet because I just haven't really needed to, uh, because I basically can access almost all my apps through these categories um, you see here. And you see I can have both those open at the same time. Now if I swipe down here, you'll see these little icons over here. Uh, this is to open a folder. So that's a different brush copper folder and this is sort of my entertainment apps and these are sort of my music uh, slash audio apps and uh, so that's pretty much it. I just wanted to show you guys that all, all of that that I did, a lot of people if you look on YouTube you'll see a lot of videos of people who use the lightning launcher and they also combined it with uh, overlays or pop-up widget and zooper widget and like 20 million different things uh, which seems like a lot. Uh, and a lot of stuff to have running. But all those things you saw, those were all strictly done with Lightning Launcher. Um, and now, of course, this, these widgets are not from Lightning Launcher. The widgets are just 
widgets from the apps themselves. But this panel, I created with Lightning Launcher. This panel, I created with Lightning Launcher. Um, uh, this little dock, I created with Lightning Launcher. So all of that is with Lightning Launcher uh, that I did that. Now my background, just so you know, that's the uh, uh, ephemeral, ephemeral, I think is the way you say it. Can't say the word right now, but that's from uh, Samsung, and you can download that on the, from the Play Store if you want. It's cool. My favorite background of all time. And then these icons are from another app, the Neon Icons, called the Icon Ultimate, which is unfortunately not available anymore on the Play Store, but that's how I got those. Uh, but other than that, the functionality, everything you've seen me do, that's all from Lightning Launcher. Um, again, really cool. Just wanted to show you my setup, give you an idea of if you're looking at it, thinking you'd like to try it out. I will say it is a huge learning curve. It took me several weeks to figure out everything to be able to do this. Um, but once you get it figured out, the possibilities really are endless. So that's Lightning Launcher. Uh, hope you liked uh, just kind of seeing what it can do, especially if you're thinking of picking it up for yourself. And uh, that's it. Until next time, let me just remind you, of course, that your Android phone is only going to be as good as you make it.